Hi, I'm Caroline Skiro and I'm demonstrating today a chicken curry. It doesn't have to be chicken, you can easily substitute prawns or another meat. This dish has lots of flavour from the spices, which is good because it compensates for the fact that on a FODMAP friendly diet, you can't use garlic and onions. So I'm going to start with two chicken breasts, which have already been chopped, and I'm going to add to them a marinade. So the marinade is the juice of one lime, and we're also going to add half a teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of olive oil, and I'm adding to that a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of turmeric, a one inch block of ginger. Just frying off those spices. We've got a nice sizzle there in the pan. Now we're ready to add the tomato. Give that a good stir. So we're leaving that on a nice low simmer. And while that's simmering, I'm going to add the next ingredient, which is a good handful of coriander. We're going to blend this, so this can be quite roughly chopped. Just scoop that all in and give it a good stir. And we're going to serve this with a brown basmati rice, which takes about 15 minutes to cook. So this is a good moment to pop your rice on to boil. I've blended the sauce and now what we're going to do is we're going to fry off the chicken, give that a good stir on a high heat. So now we need to lower the heat. We can add in our blended sauce mix. We've lowered the temperature so that we're going to bring it to a simmer. And now we fold in our spinach. Now we need to pop the lid on and leave that to simmer for 10 minutes. Okay, so now that's been simmering for 10 minutes. We can turn off the heat and stir in our yogurt. This gives the curry a really nice creamy texture. Now you can see that's the most fantastic color and ready to serve. I'm serving this with low GI brown basmati rice. It's really good, it's full of fiber, and it will help keep your blood sugar stable and a dash of fresh coriander. So there we have it, a wonderful, nutritious main meal. And if you want to look for alternative ingredients, go to the Food Maestro app.